What's going on guys? My name is Adam and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to learn how to join two objects together in Fusion 360. There's a form topic that I found on the Autodesk Fusion 360 forms and it's got a bunch of views so uh, let's take a deep dive and figure out if we can uh, provide a solution. Uh, so as we take a look at the form here, we've got a post by anonymous121086. Hmm, all right. Uh, and it says, how to join two objects. I've searched through the post for this topic to prevent redundancy. <laughs> Unfortunately, I still do not understand how to join two objects. Very simply, I have two object <laughs> that I would like to, use to fuse or join together. I tried assemble and rigid joint, but even after the figures are in position, I would like, perhaps they are not touching. It does not let me select the two objects and join them. Any thoughts? Perhaps I'm missing something. So again, as I do with all my other videos, we're just going to give my solution, contribute it to the forums without looking at anyone else's examples. So let's jump right into Fusion 360. Uh, you'll notice this Google logo. Uh, this is just a simple design. I took uh, an SVG file from Google <laughs> uh, and made this. I'm going to actually create another video how to create a Google logo from an SVG file and send it to a 3D printer with uh, different colors uh, using a dual headed extruder. So that'll be my next video, but figured I already have this model that I made, so may as well use it for this one because I am using multiple bodies and multiple components. So uh, why not, right? Um, so for this first example, I figured I'd try selecting, I, I have two assemblies, one of which is a component with uh, underlying bodies within it, and then another uh, assembly, which is an assembly with multiple components under it, uh, each assigned to an individual body. Uh, so we'll give it a shot both ways, and then we'll also move the, some of these components around, use some assembly constraints, and see if that affects uh, this process. So I hope all these should check off all of the uh, Fusion 360 form users questions that they had initially. Uh, so we'll select body one, go up to modify, do combine, and then we can select body two. Whoops. Yeah, select. Oh, it, it unselected it. So target body, body one, tool body, body two. Make sure these are unselected and make sure the operation is on join. Click OK. These are now one body. Great. Let's keep going. Modify. Combine. Select our tool body here. Click join. Click OK. Looks good. And then we'll do it one more time. This guy. This guy. Click OK. Great. This is one body. Uh, and we use the combine feature. So that's all there is to it on that one. If we go over here to this one, now I haven't done this live, so we'll see if it works. But what I'm assuming is gonna happen is we're going to select this, we're going to select this, and it's going to join the bodies, but it's not gonna join the components. Um, so I, I, I don't think you can actually do that, uh, but it will allow you to join individual bodies within different components to create one single body in its own component, which I think is still valuable. So let's go to combine. Let's click on this guy. So what it's actually doing when you're clicking on this, it looks like it's selecting component one. If you go down in the tree here, it's actually selecting the body within that component. So let's select our tool body. So if you were to say select component two, it's not gonna do anything, but if you go within the tree here and select body one within component two, it actually allows you to combine them. So do okay. Let's just keep combining here. Click okay. Combine one last time and click okay. And we've got one body in one component. All boxes checked. All right, now let's go back. And, oh, let's go back. And I'd like to I don't have any, uh, how do you say, nothing is, I guess, constrained in this, right? Um, so what I'd like to do is actually make a constraint, and maybe, well, let's go back, Control Z. Okay, so 
let's say we want these two to be one body. First off, don't know why you would want them to be one body if they're separate bodies because they're not connected. I think the definition of a body is one body not separated by space in between it, right? I mean, that's how I interpret it as. These should be two bodies. Even if it's one component, it's still two separate bodies. Um, and just to prove that, I think if we capture this position, say join this body and join this body, click OK. It's like, oh, well, now it's one body. It's the same color. Well, if you go into the component, it really just made it, they combined them into one component. So they're still two separate bodies. Um, now what we could do is if we go up to joint, let's go over to motion here, make sure we're on planar, go back to position. Let's select this face. And for component two, we'll select, hmm. So maybe they need to be two separate components actually. Oh, they do. Okay, so that's not going to work. So that let's control Z or command Z. So now these are still two separate components, two separate bodies. So if you had two separate bodies and they're each uh, their own component, select joint. That's okay. Again, make sure we're planar position. Select this face. Select this face. Okay, it's doing its little routine here. All right, we'll click OK. And then we will do rigid. Select this point here. And then select this point. Yes. OK. Now, I wonder if we were to now select these two are separate from the overall assembly, if we can combine these into one body within one component. So combine, capture, select this guy, select this guy, do OK. So as you can see, this is now one body within component one. Um, so I think that's actually all there is to it. This might be my shortest video yet. If you guys liked it, feel free to leave a like down below, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.